Hey, what's going on, everyone? Z-Man the Tech here. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Snowly Games. Really appreciate that. Um, today, we're going to be checking out uh, a really cool first-person puzzler called uh, Chroma Gun. Um, it reminds me a lot of uh, Portal, in a way. Um, not really in the aspect of teleporting, but uh, just kind of the layout, the way it feels, um, and so forth. You know, very clever with the puzzles. Uh, they, of course, are uh, color-based. So I'm going to do the best I can. Um, <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't say I'm colorblind. I have like a kind of a, a hue issue with certain colors. But uh, for the most part, I can tell these are uh, definitely blue, yellow, and red. Um, so yeah, we should be good. It's when, it's when it gets uh, to the point where you have to blend colors. That's where it might trip me up a little. So, um, And the fact that it's a hue issue, not technically colorblind, um, since I'm mentioning this, there actually is a colorblind mode, um, but uh, I wouldn't say that I'm actually colorblind because you know, apparently that doesn't help. <laughs> so it's definitely a huge issue. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn the sensitivity. We'll leave it there. I think that's where I left it last time. Um, yeah. All right, and it's actually it's got kind of a like as far as the uh, little I guess guidance tutorial voice in the background. It's very snappy, very witty, kind of like. Um, uh, the one in uh, Portal. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and um, well, it looks like I can't delete my save, so I kind of want to start from the beginning, so that way I can... <clears throat> give you an idea of what to expect here. But yeah, another really good game I like, especially in tabletop mode, you know, if I'm uh, on break at work or or I guess anywhere where there's an available desktop to put it on with the uh, appropriate stand, of course. If not using the stand that's built in, so. <laughs> but you know, we know how that stand is, sadly. Could be a little better. Okay. So we've made it in. Welcome to the Does she talk to you or? You're here because you're the best of the best. Not because you were in the 10 box and nobody else signed up. Before we start, we <laughs> your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, very snappy, very witty, kind of a smart aleck uh -huh. <laughs> computer system there. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, very, very good uh, sound design and uh, background music in this game. Really, really like the soothing approach to a lot of these puzzler games. You, you need that because uh, it can get pretty frustrating if you uh, can't figure certain puzzles out. Pick up the semi automatic nano acrylic projectile firearm right in front of you. This is the okay. right trigger fires. We here at Chromatech know how to keep secrets, and so sure you. Now, paint the worker droid to move it out of the way, then exit the room using the room exiting technique you've learned in the previous room. I'm gonna paint that thing. Tell you what, I'm probably actually going to lower that sensitivity just a tad. Might have overdone that. See how that feels. <laughs> yeah, it's a little better. Okay, pretty straightforward um, <clears throat> in the beginning levels of, the, of a puzzler game, but that's, ex that's expected. Sensational. Please walk towards the exit again. We're confident you've acquired all the necessary skills to complete this simple exercise. Uh, 
I don't remember the way you could actually take the color away. And this is certainly in the way. Yeah, I might have goofed that up. <coughs> oh, there it is. That's where I should have shot. There we go. Yeah, graphically this is pretty uh, impressive, and um, you know, <coughs> the frame rate seems to be uh, pretty steady. Um, definitely feels about 30 or so, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty much expected. But yeah, definitely playable. Like it a lot. Okay, so you've got. Actually develop blend of partially semi-lethal, dangerously radioactive isotopes, and will paint any surface not designed not to be painted by it. That being said, please do not sniff, touch, or especially lick the paint. Okay. Didn't realize that was there. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Plenty of areas to do this here. Oops. Can I reach that? There we go. Yeah, it'll start shooting all those that way. Oops. Ah, uh, the walls. They're my worst enemy right now. Okay, yeah, pretty straightforward. Once you start mixing colors, that's when it gets interesting. Please find and subsequently step into the trigger. Sensational! Please do not leave the trigger to ensure the continued opening of the exit door. Sensational! Okay. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droid. That makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects and 97% of test monkeys. Well, thanks. Alright, now how did I do this before? Alright, let's, uh... Shoot here. Here. I don't know if it's gonna reach me from there, but let me try. Oh no. That's how you do it. So I was totally wrong. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh, it's to open this door. Dang reflex. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to uh, and take a walk in here. All right, so this is one of those moments where you have to kind of bounce it in between on this button here to get it to do what you would want here. It's already yellow, so all you have to do is just shoot the corresponding wall. There we go. Very cool. But yeah, as I said before, definitely looking forward to the blend of colors. That's where it gets interesting, for sure. Alright. It is worth noting that unlike the ones you've encountered in the previous rooms, the worker droids in this next room 
are not deactivated, but hibernating. Much like you and me, they do not take kindly to being shot at with paint pellet. Please do not disturb them, because even though they're not designed to kill you upon contact, due to miscommunication and engineering, they will. <laughs> that doesn't sound dangerous at all. Okay, let's see if we can get this over here. I'm really liking the beat on that part. the Chromatech seminar on subtractive color mixing for preschoolers at the end of the day. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we've got all those activated. Oh. Oh. There we go. That's where they start letting you uh, remove color to uh, get it working here. got the triple gun. Please acquire the upgraded tricolor chroma gun. As without it, you would not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. <laughs> succumb to hunger. <laughs> so they're forcing you to figure this out. Oh shoot. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, so I definitely did that wrong. Huh. I'm unsure how to undo this. So now it's black and trying to attack me. Alright, so let's restart that level. <laughs> Goof that up. To continue the test, Make sure we have the right color on this time. Upgraded tricolored chroma gun. As without it, you will not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. get it orange so oh red okay, purple so uh, let's see yellow red oh shoot <laughs> how did I screw that up already Still a way out of it. Never give up completely. Alright, so let's see. We've already 
We solved that. Solved that. Came from there. So we need to solve this one. Okay, so... I think we should make it green here. And yellow. There we go. Okay. We got one left here. Alright, so we will do and what's purple? We will do red and blue. Just trying to figure out what door it opened here. Oh, we need this one. Okay. One screen, okay. Still not open? Okay. Oh. Makes sense. There we go. Now we can exit here. Let this be the last one and you know should be able to get a gist of what's going on in this game from here you know uh just wanted to kind of provide you with a taste um definitely another game another indie game around the 20 dollars range that's definitely worth it um so yeah just throwing it out there oh you know what it wants red we make it orange let's make this orange Oh, that is, that did not work. Can we change it at all? I don't think we can. Great. Oh, one of those areas open. Jeez. Yeah, it is not happy. Let's restart that. Okay. Alright, so before attacking this thing, let's just automatically make this red. And then attack it. It should be drawn to this area. There it is. Oh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's do blue. Get orange in there. Get purple in there. Oops. And get a green in there. undoubtedly not going to open until we get through this part. Interesting. Can those colors be changed? No, they cannot. It does not work that way. Sadly. Okay. Come on. There's got to be a way to stop those. Looks like it wanted green, but that's the door that needs to be open. But I have no more.
only is to stop this from attacking me. So I'm curious at this point, I'm, I'm just going to activate all of them. Oh, well at least they've all opened this time. What, what is the purpose of these? Once they're activated, how do you stop them? It's probably the wrong thing to do, but... I'm running out of options here. That apparently doesn't do anything. Okay, apparently a good puzzle. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, shoot. I wonder how many hits you get. I think what it wanted me to do was change the color of the one I needed to open this to, I guess, a green here. That way it'll open this door too. I'll give it one more shot. And then that's it. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. So, undoubtedly we have to change that to red anyway. Oops. Just to get this open, so... And it's just automatically red, which it can't be changed. All right. Blue. And we got uh, orange. And we'll do a purple. And a green. Okay. Okay, so don't attack these ever. So yeah, if I make this one red, I just gotta figure out what did I do to open that section. Actually, I shouldn't need to. I, I shouldn't. Okay, so if I. undo that color. Oh no. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Trial and error. <laughs> Alright, so we know this needs to be red opens that I get <laughs> wrong color. God dang it. I 
I've seen that a few times too. There'll be a rip in the wall. What else are we missing? Blue? Okay, that's easy. I'd like to figure out what I did before. Save the two on the outside because I may need that. So if I shoot one, See, I don't know why it opened, but it did. Okay, so now, if I'm doing this correctly, oh, shoot. So another random color, boom. Switch to red. Now this door is permanently open, so now I can get it over here. But I have to watch out for that black thing here. Yay. Took a second, but I figured it out. Alright. Oh, there's still more to do. And this thing won't stop leaving me alone. Uh, okay. going to switch to blue here. Oh. Uh, uh. He won't leave me alone. <laughs> it's just harassing me. Oh! Stop, 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 stop. Why is it not opening? Why is it not opening? <laughs> Am I missing one? Oh, it's still... Let go. Let go. There we go. Oh, but then the other one's not open. How the heck? <laughs> God dang. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to switch to blue. Make it purple. Come on. I was just thinking leave me alone. Let's see if I can lure it out. <laughs> it's not very stupid, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I definitely did this one wrong. Um, it's definitely a blend of... Uh, Oh, it left me alone. It finally left me alone. Nope, there it is. If I can just keep it behind this wall. No! It really isn't stupid, I tell you. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I did to uh, warrant that. But anywho, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> when I, when I resume gameplay next time, uh, definitely want to, uh, I'm going to do some research and figure out how it is to, uh, what's needed to clear this floor, chapter two, floor four, I uh, definitely don't like being stumped, but yeah, um, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, appreciate the support and, uh, continued support, um, but yeah, Chroma Gun. Definitely check it out. Uh, I'd say it's definitely worth the uh, the twenty dollar price tag. And uh, thanks again.